Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is a card of work. This is a card of collaboration, cooperation. There could be something about connecting with someone from the workplace, or being focused on work, or making something work, fixing something here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Six of Swords, Air Energy, and the Queen of Cups, Water Energy. So... You could be currently in a transition period, leaving something behind, moving on, um, healing. The Six of Cups is, I mean, the Queen of Cups is also showing an energy of um, someone who is uh, kind of uh, compassionate towards the situation. But I'm seeing also being more in a feminine energy in terms of not, not forcing, not chasing, not pursuing, but rather surrendering to something, forgiving something, accepting something and being very emotionally uh, mature and emotionally intelligent and empathetic here. Um, there is a shift here, focusing on work with the Eight of Pentacles. There could be an energy of focusing on work as a way to to heal and to, to not focus on something that you've left behind here. Okay, so let's clarify these cards here, um, Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So there's, again, it's like you're very focused on your pentacles, your responsibilities, your practical matters. There's this feeling of, um, you know, doing better for yourself, um, you know, uplifting yourself. You may also be spoiling yourself. It's like prioritizing yourself and your, um, your, 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 your practical responsibilities. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups again, Water Energy. We have the Page of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Sun card, Leo Energy. Okay, so even while you may try to distract yourself, the feelings are still there. They may still come up every now and then. The Queen of Cups is showing that there's still a genuine care towards whatever this is that you may have moved away from. Um, there's still feelings there. They still felt very strongly. Um, and it's, it's, it's like you're coming to a place where you are accepting these feelings. It's, um, it's in a more positive way with the Queen of Cups. It's like having compassion for yourself and for the situation. Okay, so with the Sun card, there's also this feeling of healing again. Okay, you're getting your energy back here. The Page of Wands could show that you could actually get some sort of information or hear from someone here, a small sort of communication from someone reaching out to you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Arca card for you, Taurus. So we have the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. So you could feel like you haven't yet gotten the sufficient closure here, or there's something, you're, you're, some sort of message or communication that's coming towards you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. have passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy okay so there's definitely it's 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 like you still feel for someone here. Yeah, there's still a passionate desire there's still strong feelings but you may be trying to you know kind of focus on other things as a way to distract yourself from that but there is it's still lingering is what i'm seeing okay so i'm gonna apply my card for me towards So we have two cards. We have 
Red Rose, Hidden Secrets, Three Things Cannot Be Long Hidden, The Sun, The Moon, and The Truth. And we have Peony, Prosperity and Compassion. Prosperity depends more on wanting what you have than on having what you want. So you are coming into a place of healing, having that compassion with yourself, loving your life. It's like you're working on this. Um, but with this red rose, it's like this, you may feel like there's unfinished business or there's something you still want to know. There's still answers that you want to receive. It's like you may feel like you didn't get the full story or there's a truth that still needs to be revealed. And perhaps this is why it still lingers. Okay, so I'm going to pull out um, a card for your advice, Taurus. So we have surrender your attachments to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. So the answers will come. There's this, this need to be more in this uh, surrender kind of energy, which it does look like you're doing. Um, but I do see that those answers, the truth, the clarity, it's, it's going to come to you. You won't have to go chasing after it. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.